Hi, um, so my name is Patrick Flanagan and I am a final year student here studying Economics and Finance in the Quinn School of Business. So I think probably as is the case with most of you guys, when I was in fifth year and sixth year in school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, I had a few like key indicators that were helping me decide, but in general, I actually didn't really know. But what I did know is that I liked economics and accountancy in school. They were probably my two best subjects. They're probably the two I, like, I did the best at. And, and so those two along with maths were the kind of subject areas that I was kind of keen to keep studying in. So um, added to that, I went to school in Longford, which is obviously just the middle of nowhere really. So I knew I wanted to come up to Dublin and I wanted to kind of move into the city. So UCD was kind of ticking the box there a bit. And on top of that, I also am a sports person. So UCD has world-class sporting facilities. Everyone knows that. So that really attracted me to the university. And um, I'm a swimmer and I have a 50 meter swimming pool. So that was a big thing as well. So I went up to the UCD Open Day and I was kind of looking around. I came over to the business school and originally it was the actuarial degree that kind of caught my eye and I went into a talk about that. And while it like interested me, it just didn't really fit. I kind of felt like I was just going to become an actuary out of it and I just wasn't sure if that's what I wanted to do at the age of 17. It kind of seemed like a big decision. So then I went over to the talk on economics of finance and it wasn't actually a degree I'd heard about until the Open Day. Um, but it really caught my eye. It seemed like a good combination between the heavy maths based degree, which is something I kind of wanted to do, and um, a really nice advanced degree that was going to bring me into maybe a possible financial world or something that I knew I would probably enjoy. Um, so I spoke to the person that was giving the talk that day and the one thing he said to me was that, if you really like maths, you'll really like this degree. So I kind of thought, yeah, great, um, perfect. And it was in UCD. It had the sports facilities, it was in Dublin, and it had the subject areas that I enjoyed. So it just seemed to fit, and ultimately I chose to do it. I got the points and I got in, and this is why I'm here now. Then I started in first year, and uh, I kind of remember going into my first module in first year, which was some sort of matsy based thing. And um, I kind of looked around the lecture hall, and there wasn't that many people in there, only about 50 or 60. And I was thinking to myself, well, okay, this isn't that many people, but it was good because you, I got to know everyone in the degree. That was basically the whole degree. And um, you have a lot of courses that have 100 or 200 people and you, you're never going to get to know that many people. But in economics and finance, you get that opportunity to get to know everyone. When we go on nights out, we get to have our whole degree there, you know, which is, which is really fun. And it's, you have that good sense of community. And um, from the academic side of things, then in first year and second year, the content you cover in modules like economics and accountancy is really similar to stuff you do in Leaving Cert. So if you've done that before, which I had, it was really good. And if you haven't done it, it's not that hard, so you can pick it up easy enough. And um, you also get to take finance, which is, it's interesting. It's stuff you've never done before in Leaving Cert. I remember doing a project where we had to put together some sort of like portfolio. And uh, that was completely new to me. I did that after two months being in the degree wasn't anything special or anything, but it kind of made me realize, okay, well, this is interesting, this is different, and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, so then I went on to second year, and in second year, it's a really good opportunity to kind of get involved in clubs and societies because you've adjusted to college life a bit, and it's, it's, you know, you've got that opportunity to get involved in like sports clubs or whatever. So for me, it was the swim club that I jumped into, and uh, I became the chairperson of the swim club of that year, and that was really fun because I got to go to stuff like the UCD sports ball, and we got to go to compete at InterVarsities and I was lucky enough to captain the team to a win at InterVarsities that year, so that was something I was proud of. And I think a lot of people took advantage of that year to get involved in clubs. A big one for our degree was the INE, which is the Investors and Entrepreneurial Society. So what we used to do then, like every Wednesday night was go down for our poker nights and it'd be poker and pizza. And it was just, it was just a fun thing that we were able to all do as a degree. We do mostly, most of the modules you would just have final exams. I think as you would expect in stuff like the maths modules, accounting modules, it's just you have your exam. But we did do a lot of group project, group project work in um, finance uh, modules. So one project I remember doing was uh, we did, had to do a full rundown of, a, of an airline and we had to do like predict where we thought the company might go in the next few years. And that was like a six week project and there was four of us doing it. And I think those kind of group projects are good because there be a lot of areas that I might necessarily see it from, but someone that else in the group might look at the company from that point of view. Um, so it was good to be able to bounce ideas off each other. And it, once again, it's just, it's a nice learning opportunity. Being based in Quinn, there's a, like a lot of facilities and stuff we get to use. So 
whenever we were practicing presentations, we used to go up and book in the presentation rooms where you could plug your laptop in, there's a projector there, it goes up against the wall, and you have four or five of you in there for a couple hours practicing your presentation. And that's always actually a good laugh because you have so many fails and errors for the first two hours before you actually get your presentation down. Um, and there's a lot of other support services like stuff, stuff like the Math Support Centre and the library is really good, especially in first year and second year when you're just getting used to the whole university lifestyle and if you might be struggling in a module, which happens to so many people, um, it's nice to know that you got that support there that they'll help, help you get through those modules. So then you kind of push on to like third year and final year and so third year is an optional year, I, I'm sure you might know by now that people can go out and internship. So for me it wasn't something I did because as I said before, I'm a swimmer and I was preparing towards Tokyo uh, 2020 games. So I didn't do the year, but a lot of people did and a lot of them really enjoyed it. Like a lot of people were kind of coming back saying, even if it wasn't in an area that they, like say they went into audit, they now know that they don't want to do audit, so they liked it for that reason. <laughs> or a lot of people kind of went into something that they did enjoy, so they know that is something they want to go into the future. So for me, maybe it's something I wish I did do, but I just didn't get the opportunity to go on that internship year. But I did go into fourth year, and I end up splitting fourth year over a bit for swimming. But uh, it's a heavy enough year because it's worth 70% of your overall degree. So you, as with any fine year degree, you put in a lot of workload. But once again, I think because we have a smaller degree, it's, it's helpful that you've got that, that community. I can ask someone, well, how do I do this? Or can I get a bit of help with this? And we're all able to push each other on to get through that final year and hopefully then graduate in a couple of months. Then hopefully I'll be graduating in the next couple of months and kind of looking forward to that beyond graduation, beyond UCD. I don't really know what area I want to get into yet. That's, I think that's a really good thing about the degree again is that I have such a broad range of opportunities and we have a good grasp in so many subject areas that you can go into a lot of fields. For me personally, I think I'm going to swim for a while. I still want to get to the, uh, the Paralympic Games when they are eventually on. So I won't be looking for a job in the short term.